Hey, I'm Gregory Wada from Bakuhatsu Taiko Dan in Davis, California. I wanted to show a demo for a Taiko composition that I, I wrote using GarageBand instruments and software. Um, so I actually just started working on this last week. And um, when uh, Isaku Kagayama Sensei had, he made a video um, showing how, how Taiko players, how to, how to use GarageBand basics for arrangement composition. And so it was really good timing, useful for me to be able to, to, to watch this as I was trying to get these ideas down. Um, uh, so I used pretty similar um, process to, to um, Kageyama Sensei. I was typing in with a MIDI keyboard. Um, uh, one, one other thing I used was this um, Yamaha uh, DD65 um, drum pad. Uh, this is actually a Taiyo Onoda's. Um, he, I think he wrote uh, Utage on this um, for our group, uh, you know, back in the day. And he's since on gone to uh, to play with Koro. So while he's off on Sado Island, I've been playing his uh, drum kit. <laughs> this uh, software is a bit old too. That's why I wasn't able to use the the Taiko um, the kit, which I'm I would love to use. That looks super awesome. Uh, this is so. This is actually Logic Pro. I think Logic Pro Ten. Uh, it is, um, I think it's in the GarageBand family. It's, I think the paid version actually, but this is, uh, I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not a license holder. This was from uh, the previous owner of the laptop and it's, it's a, it's a bit outdated, um, but it has been, it works great for me. I just um, couldn't get all the, the, the kits that look like they might be out for GarageBand now. Um, for the, the Chu and the Shime, I used, uh, uh, one that I was able to download from the from the World Series. Uh, that's like Asian. Um, uh, let's see if we can just go to one like a uh, Asian kit. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I think. Oops, I think it was oh, no. these ones. This C and it's. To make the the chu sound okay so um and i think that's the shime here and uh the way that i was able to get the sounds i i wanted with this kit if anyone's using similar or or maybe i think this could even work with other just kind of taiko kits um is by changing the pitch slightly um so this is how it comes down actually kind of kind of i don't know maybe At least compared to the drums that we were kind of hitting on. So um, I was able, to, I, I think tuning this up a couple was nice for me. Sounded good. Whoa. It, okay, it definitely sounds weird as you grab it, but this sounds like one, like a chew that we might have headed somewhat recently, kind of. Um, so kind of writing to the, the sounds that I might be able to play with too. I think just to it and I think that's a nice sound um a bit pingy but yeah it's like it's pretty good the kara is also um it's a bit it's got a bit of a metal to it like like the stand is rattling or just like uh, some of our old pvc drums have metal ring or the con maybe the con's like jiggling uh, or it's just I don't know um <laughs> uh, that's the best I could do for the, the type of sounds. For the for the shime though, it was it was really essential that I. Uh, um, these are this is up to like three, I think. From this is the shime it gives you. It's not bad, yoncho or something maybe. And then I think for the kind of. Yeah, I mean that that worked for me at least. How I'm, you know, kind of imagine. The rest though, I had to um, kind of uh, do what I could with. The old Daiko, I think, is just a, like some timpani, some big old drum. Uh, it works together with this. Um, what I wanted to be a large okedo, kind of something a bit more pinieri, uh, which is um, some other orchestra uh, instrument. One thing I didn't want was like a lot of like, you know, just. Playing your part, like just you know, and, and not necessarily in a pocket with someone. I, I want I want that just to be this constant kind of feedback and jam, right? And so like having p parts set together, like just like just work well together. If you're just this a uh, hibiki player or this uh, large okedo player, yeah, I mean like you you can you can 
get into a group by yourself but but really your piece like it's really kind of a conversation between another big instrument the old icon and this volcano kind of formed this um kind of dialogue uh for for a lot of the pieces that their, their their lines kind of removed from each other um yeah or you know or similarly like we have uh i mean the, the whole like like backline section uh you know chapa kane shaker uh hyoshigi um this is one of the parts that um that, i mean that, that they all kind of you know inform each other too the okero and the the shime they're you know they're grooving off each other and 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 they're also they're separated left and right same as odaiko and its partner the large okero or this like two part which is a bit um different from the other rhythms it's using a lot of triplets it has like a lot of like space ma in it and so even though like the it's um its phrases themselves is a bit more um maybe like maybe hip-hop derived uh, uh to me it has the feel of kind of obon drum like these these kind of large beats that are maybe irregularly spaced but still kind of groovy dancey uh, and, and maybe like rep repetitive over longer intervals. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, uh, so that's why it's kind of its own section. And, I, and I'm thinking like this might be, you can we have more people to use, but yeah. But there's something kind of like nasty about that. Like, don't. kind of a nice like fun space to me kind of had a feeling about a wall <laughs> let me take a sec to uh to talk about the song okay so the song is called shishiku or lion's roar and it's um it's a song that i kind of wrote um, reflecting on the moment now um in terms of uh you know where we are in uh, as a society or, or or the call to action that that you know, I feel that a lot of us feel to to make the world a more just and equitable place. Uh, it's a song that I kind of wrote while reflecting on anti-racism and and kind of like how that relates to our artist um, Taiko players. Uh, the the bridge of the song uses three verses from the Jusege. Uh It's a, a it's a chant used in, um, in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. It's like a reflection on the Bodhisattvas. Um, uh, calling to liberate all beings right and so these these verses um i used the the third sixth and eighth verse to me these are ones that i've kind of uh, reflected on in terms of they all seem to be a call to action there's also this calling to to be informed to be uh to use your knowledge to dispel ignorance and evil you know then to go and take that into the world and, and make change so like these i this this whole jisege is itself kind of a call to action but i you know these three verses really spoke to me in the moment now and uh yeah and they're featured in the the bridge of this song I had, I had kind of two kind of form composition goals uh one is that i wanted um each piece to have its own kind of purpose or meaning that that by itself it would make sense or, or with another uh, partner it, it would it would kind of it, it makes sense um and, and then it, it contributes to the the whole arrangement in a way that is kind of uniquely its own too. Um, the other goal was to kind of make something that was kind of simple enough an arrangement that would you know be kind of easy for us to go out and play this song in in support of the causes that we champion and, and you know in, in a collegiate taiko setting too where you know we you know there's a, there's a lot of stuff we got to learn so I wanted to make something simple so I don't know if I did that second goal um, just because I think one thing when you are writing um, kind of composing in software it's you know it's very easy to just oh i want this, i want this sound oh, I, I hear this and i want to hear it like this and and um so i think it's also really important to think about like how you'll be playing and, and structures too and i don't know how well i did that um i don't know uh how easy it will be us to add to the, or the, the the bridge with the, the chanting and and everything uh but yeah that's that's what i got <laughs> so yeah so i guess i will uh share this song with you just because of i'm using zoom uh, as my recording software i might just bounce this and then just overlay it yeah but but let's just give it a shot all right here we go
所長地獄興味所問セーフ上昇が。Thanks for、uh, listening.